Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. We've got to talk about severe weather risk. We're not just going to have one. We could have two, three, or four separate risks over the next three to four days. This is a very active pattern, something we don't normally see in the month of December, but we also don't normally see 12 days of 70 plus, which we're about to have today. It's just been a crazy pattern. So let me show you what's going on. We'll kind of break down all the details here the best we can. So here's the pattern. You can see what's going on. We've got several storm systems across the south. What's going on, obviously, if you've been outside at any point over the last, you know, several weeks, you know it's super warm across the southern part of the country. That's a pretty much a given. We've had record-breaking temperatures. That warmth's not going anywhere, but winter's trying to make a comeback. The problem is it's not one giant front that's going to sweep in here and change everything back to winter. The problem is we're actually going to have a couple fronts come down here, not quite make it all the way through, but each one's going to potentially bring the risk for severe storms. So if you look to the west, today's risk is really materializing right here, and this is going to arrive later tonight. So during the day today, I think for the most part, we're going to be okay. I couldn't rule out an isolated strong storm, especially late today. But the real concern is going to be overnight into Thursday. And then we'll have several more waves of storms heading our way. So let me show you that severe weather outlook. So here's our day one severe weather outlook. You can see it's been updated from yesterday. If you're watching me, we've got this uh, medium to high risk back to the west. So this is where the storms are really going to crank up today. And what's going to happen is they're going to move along essentially what's going to be a stalled front tonight and head into the Carolinas. So late tonight, I think even maybe as early as late evening, but I think really overnight into early Thursday, we're gonna see that risk move into the Carolinas. Now, what's that risk going to be? I'll show you the probability of tornadoes. So this is the 2%, 5%, 10%. So again, 2%, 5%, 10%, just to give you a heads up on that. But tomorrow, day two, here's our severe weather outlook. The, almost the entire area is in the low risk for severe storms and the tornado probability tomorrow is in the low range so again the risk is kind of going to be one of those things where we might see a wave late tonight early thursday and maybe then again late thursday afternoon then we go to day three which is friday we start seeing the second system approaching it's going to start in the same area back to the west you can see over in here and this will be heading our way late in the day you know new year's eve into new year's day and again We'll keep an eye on this. Now, day four, which is technically they don't put out specific outlooks, but you could see this is Saturday. I would expect we're going to see active storms to our west, and some of these are going to make a run at the Carolinas, probably for New Year's Day. So uh, Friday's risk looks to be the lowest, but it's not zero. But we're looking at tonight, tomorrow, and then into Saturday. So let's break down the timing of all this uh, here in a minute. But let me show you just kind of the breakdown I have. You know, today's a risk, Thursday's a risk, Friday's a risk, and Saturday's a, Saturday is a risk for severe storms. What is my primary concern with this first wave of storms? Well, primarily straight line winds, but this tornado risk has been increasing just a little bit. It's not off the charts. Again, remember, this isn't going to be a widespread, everybody gets this. These are going to be scattered, isolated storms that develop, and the ones that can get going in this environment potentially could be strong to severe, and there are ingredients there for rotation so let's go back here and we'll start kind of breaking down the timing of this um, with the future cast all right so we can dive right into the future cast here now first things first there's going to be rain we've already got rain out there today but again i don't anticipate these first batches of rain to be that severe though i can't rule out the risk is low the real action is going to happen back in here and kind of move in this direction so the first rain we see today don't get too worried about that but just keep your guard up slightly for that but you could see what's developing back towards memphis hot springs area you kind of get the idea there you see that that kind of storm system start to push and look at that moving to the east look at the time frame this is five o'clock tonight uh we'll go into the evening six seven so again you could see not a lot over the carolinas this area to the west boy this could be the real deal there's going to be strong winds in there maybe some embedded rotation we'll go towards eight nine o'clock so you can see for the most part today not a huge deal until tonight so this is getting into the wee hours of the morning kind of see this line kind of setting up it's kind of losing some of its energy but again there's enough parameters especially from charlotte south that some of this stuff right here again could potentially be severe so look at the time frame up here you know middle of the night so this is really going to be the timeline overnight into early thursday we go through time you can see that moving through and it's 4 a.m pretty strong storms down in South Carolina. And again, any of these could be severe or even tornadic. We go into Thursday, there looks to be a little bit of a lull in the activity. 
and then we go into the afternoon and it looks like things try to perk back up late day so this would be the second wave i'm worried about for for thursday there's one in the morning that's primarily around charlotte south but this one in the afternoon could be ten, potentially be strong to severe as, again as well and again remember there's a low risk already up for thursday afternoon so that's kind of what i would call the second wave and again that looks even more widespread than the first one so the first wave's tonight second one is tomorrow during the day and that potentially could be the one that brings us some severe storms now it's a little too early to get way out into saturday or even friday to be honest with you but friday's mess you can kind of see what's developing back to the west that's likely going to arrive in the afternoon so everything's going to be forming kind of to the west and then heading our direction let me show you a couple other things i'm keeping a close eye on. tornado parameter okay if you watch me and all i show this this is called the significant tornado parameter we'll go into tonight notice it's kind of elevated to the west as we go into the morning hours remember that batch of rain coming in around three four five or, you know two three four five in the morning again there's some ingredients there for tornadic storms but not all that bad but during the day tomorrow this is going into the afternoon remember the second wave on thursday much better environment you can see there's some one and twos in there so of the two waves of storms the one during the day on thursday to me looks to be a little bit more of an issue that we're going to have to keep an eye on and you can see into the afternoon and evening on, on thursday that potentially is there the other parameter we look at is you know rotational tracks i'm just going to show you the whole model run rotational tracks and real quickly not a ton of them on here right but there's a little area right in here and then some down in south carolina and again this isn't going to show you where tornadoes are it shows you where storms that have rotation in them are going to be moving and so there's a couple waves one in the morning down here but the second wave in the afternoon is one to keep an eye on so that all being said the one thing i want you to do today download the wcnc charlotte app this will give you alerts on your phone here it is late december you know it's a holiday weekend the last thing on a lot of people's minds is i'm not thinking about severe weather i'm not watching that much tv or really paying attention because i'm spending time with friends or family but I will caution you this is the exact time that you need to be more weather aware because this is the time that people get caught off guard so have at least three ways to get warnings that includes the built-in wireless emergency alerts check the settings in your phones don't have to turn them on all the time or have them on every day but make sure they're on for events like this and make sure they're on for tornadoes and flash flooding specifically you can turn off amber alerts if you want or severe weather or government alerts uh, people do that but this would be a time i turn them on okay text those texts and weather alerts come from our phones via our apps get a local app get the wcnc first one weather app or charlotte uh, first one uh, charlotte um, app um, make sure you get our wcnc app it's a great app for a couple reasons i'm going to show you real quickly on my phone i have both of them it's it's going to look like this it's going to pop up it, it it looks like that it's going to give you alerts you can set alerts for severe weather but one of the best things you can watch our stream live so if we do have severe weather and you're not in front of a tv you're away from the home no matter where you are even outside of our viewing area you can watch our live stream there um, so watching tv obviously that seems like people don't do that very much but yeah watching tv or a live stream like i said online social media but be very careful with social media make sure it's up to date twitter um, is probably the best for this facebook not great because you get posts from four days ago that's what i mean about real time or notifications uh, NOAA weather alert radio those are great with the alarm set and the other one text friend family call them dm them um, that actually works pretty well people that aren't paying attention will listen to friends or family first when they say hey there's actually severe weather so i will post updates throughout the day the next several days i will do more vlogs if necessary um, and as always make sure you tune in that's the best place if you get that app you don't have to watch me on tv folks the people tell me all the time i don't watch tv you don't have to we stream everything on amazon fire on roku on our phones on our apps there's no reason to even have to watch this on tv but it's a great source i can give you more information in a short period of time so grab those apps make sure you download it right now it will save you uh, trust me it is a great app i work there and don't watch tv all the time i'll be honest with you but i use that app all the time because the push notifications and being able to pull up the live stream instantly is always a great great resource have a great day. I will post updates. Stay safe. Be weather aware and spread the word. Tell other people, be weather aware. There is a risk for severe weather at any time over the next couple of days. Not a huge widespread event, but for this time of year, kind of crazy. Keep an eye on it.